to a baptism service here at Journey Church. It, it really is a moment of celebration where those who are here that are going under the waters of baptism have have really decided in their heart that they're ready to go public with their faith, that they're symbolically dying to their sin, dying to their old life, and they're rising again in newness of life, and being born again, so to speak, as the Bible um, talks about the water baptism is such great symbolism of the inner working of what's going on in the hearts of a believer. And as they leave, they are white and clean as slow, free from the bondage of sin and death and ready to live this new life in Christ, a life on mission where the great commission should be first and foremost in your life where the great commandment love the Lord your God with all your heart strength soul and mind should be at the center of your heart where Acts 1 8 should be part of your experience where you go in the neighborhood where God has planted you and beyond to share the gospel with everyone that you encounter and that your message would be that matter of first importance the gospel that is our message and the gospel continues to change lives and we're excited to share this moment with them. So here's how we do it. As they go into the waters of baptism and come out, we scream like there's no tomorrow because we're celebrating a baby, so to speak, being born in Jesus' name. So we're going to practice one time. They go into the waters of baptism, they come out in newness of life, and you go... <laughs> Not bad. I can roll with that. I can roll with that. Welcome, David and Lily Sanchez. David's going to get baptized first, I guess. So you ready? Come on in. They'll get your shoes and stuff and take you over there. So David, we are excited for you and Lily to share this live moment with you. I'm going to hand you the mic in case you'd like to say anything. You certainly don't have to. But if you'd like to share, why, why are you doing this? What made you come to this point of decision today where you want to get baptized? Uh, there's been several times that we've come close. Uh, accepted Jesus in our lives. But we've never made the decision of baptism, and uh, this year has brought great blessings to our family, and uh, we're so fortunate to have found Journey Church. Um, we're right across the street, so we want to definitely make this home, and we want Jesus in our lives, and we have Jesus in our lives, and we want to celebrate with all of you. We thank you for being a part of this. It's Amen. very special. Amen. Well, Lily, if you'd like to help, why don't you sit down and just, uh, that's probably me. So come a little bit closer. Lily, if you want to hold his hand, you're welcome to. Having confessed that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, we are honored tonight to share this moment with you and baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. anything today? No! She said no! You sure? He said it all? Okay, he said it all. Lily, feel free to have a seat. Having said it all and convinced that you are a believer in Jesus Christ, that you desire to live a life on mission for Jesus, we are honored to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Day and she's like, I really want to get baptized. Can you make this happen? And I said, you better get there and talk to Pastor Don. And she did. So I can't wait to hear your story. <laughs> We're excited for you. Would you like to share why you're here today? No need to be afraid. I'm here today because last year and this year alone, I went through so much in my life. And he showed me a hundred times that he's there for me. And he's come through a lot. Amen. Seneca, feel free to have a seat. Having confessed that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and having a desire to be baptized, 
desire to live a life on mission, a desire to surrender your life wholly and totally to Jesus. We baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. you're here tonight. Would you like to share what, what's brought you to this moment where you're ready to go under the waters of baptism? Well, I've had a couple health scares over the last year. And, uh, you know, talk is cheap, and I figured actions speak louder than words. So, this is my, uh, this is my chance to show my actions versus my words. Amen. Feel free to have a seat. Lord, even as Dave has struggled in some areas in his health this year, we're convinced by what we heard today that you still heal, you still deliver, you still set free. And Father, we are excited for him that he's come to a place where he really wants to go public with his faith and share it with those who are here tonight. And he's excited about that enough that he would come here before all these crazy people that are before us and say, man, I'm going to get baptized. So we, we honor you in that and we're excited for you and uh, we'll be praying for you. Father, we thank you for Dave and we're pleasured and overjoyed to baptize him tonight in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the mighty and glorious name of Jesus. Amen. contemplating water baptism. Well, certainly tomorrow morning we'll be baptizing more people in each of our services. But our next formal water baptism date is going to be the weekend of Easter. So maybe you got a little bit of time to think about that, pray about it. Um, it's so neat how God uh, lined it up where we're actually going to be preaching that weekend on the eunuch who was baptized. So God lined it up just absolutely perfect. So get ready if you've been contemplating it. That's the next opportunity that you'll have. Come on up. Who's first to go? Guys, this is Chris. Would you welcome him in the name of the Lord? Chris, we're excited for you. Feel free to step in. Alan will help you out. If you look at everybody who's out there, you might have some family with you. I'm sure they'd like to take pictures and face the camera for those who might be online as well. If you feel led to share, what's brought you to this place? Why are you here today? I need change. I want to be with Jesus. And that's, that's it. All right. That's more than enough. Chris, feel free to have a seat. We're excited for you today. Thank you for letting us share this moment with you. We're honored that your family's here as well today. And Chris, having confessed that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, it's our pleasure and honor to baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. And we encourage you to just live a life that's abandoned to him in Jesus' name. Amen. to be 
be here as you start your new life today. We're excited for you. We're excited for your family. We're excited for the implications of seeing you live for Jesus and tell people about what he's done in your life. And it's our pleasure today to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. will be the weekend of Easter, so we hope that you'll consider that, contemplate it, and maybe get baptized as well. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for making Journey Church possible. Go live your lives for Jesus. This is a time where we celebrate with these adults, and I think some children are going to be here that are getting baptized as well, all of whom are saying that they are receiving Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, that they're ready to go public with that, that they want to tell the world about that, and uh, it's symbolic what that means is as they go under the waters of baptism, they die to themselves. They come out of the waters of baptism in newness of life as believers in Jesus Christ. They're putting to get to death the sin that was in their life, and they want to walk forward in the kinds of things that we've been talking about. So for those of you who are being baptized, I know that you've contemplated it. I know that you've talked to Pastor Don about it, but you're dying today. Your old life is gone from this this day forward, you are called to live a life on mission. So if you're not ready for that, you can run. You still got a moment. You can go. But man, if you're ready to live for him, would you do that today? Give them all a warm round of applause. If you've not been here for a baptism service, it really is a moment of celebration as they go under the waters of baptism and they come out in newness of life. You need to scream like there's no tomorrow. So let's try that one time. They go under, they come back up, and what do you do? Yeah. Amen. Come on up. We're excited to share this moment with you. God bless you. This is Travis, everybody. Come on, Travis. Feel free to stand in there. They'll take your shoes in just a second, or you can go in with them too. It's all good. <laughs> Feel free to look that way. They'd love to capture this moment for your family. Travis, what's brought you to this decision today? I'll hand you the mic. Come on, you got this. Just share with us why you're here. I uh, just wanted to be a leader in my family and, and be a man, a real man. Amen. Feel free to have a seat. Travis. Having made that profession of faith that Jesus is your Lord and Savior and you know, looking to make some changes in your life, we're excited for you today. We're excited that you would want to be baptized. We're excited to be here with you. And we baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Jeff, a warm Journey Church welcome. Jeff, we're glad you're here. Would you like to share anything today? Yeah, I'm just ready to give my life to Christ. Amen. Short and sweet, we'll take it in Jesus' name. Jeff, feel free to have a seat. express the desire to give your life to Christ today um, and want to be baptized. We honor that moment. We celebrate it with you today as a faith family, your desire to go public, and, and we're honored to be here today. We baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. than he did. Uh, a little more. I'm a, I'm a little long-winded, so I'm going to try to keep it short. Um, I'm just so thankful for this opportunity to come and honor the Lord. Uh, he's been so good in my life. Uh, about two years ago, I just turned my back on God, and I did some really foolish stuff, um, but out of it came a blessing, which is my son, Ethan, and I want to be a good mother and an example for him, and, but more importantly, I want to honor God with my life, and that's what I'm doing here today, just want to honor him. Well, Ashley, we're 
are excited to help you in that. Feel free to have a seat. Just put your legs forward. Wonderful. As you've expressed the desire to just be a parent in the faith and in the natural, uh, we just we just are so excited for you. And we baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. today? Um, as a child, I was baptized. Uh, my family it was kind of a tradition, and I kind of just went through the motions growing up. Um, when I left my hometown in Texas, I definitely made some wrong choices. I lost track of everything, and recently gave my life back to Christ, and I realized I didn't need those destructive choices or decisions anymore, and so now I just want to make this a public. Okay. Amen. We're excited for you. Yes, Lord, we all have choices that we make in life, some for the good, some for the bad. But we thank you that you would die, that we might have life, that you would save us and redeem us from bad choices. And Lord, today as she comes before you, her heart open wide to what you want to do with the desire to live for you all the days of her life. We celebrate with her by baptizing her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Tasha, would you like to share anything today? You're a little nervous. You got this. Come on. I used to be afraid, and thanks to my friends, um, I found Jesus, and he taught me that there's no room for fear or doubt. And I want to give my life to God as Jesus gave his for us. Amen. and a brother. You loved us enough that you would die. And Lord, we receive that today. We acknowledge that today. And our hearts are knit with you as, as she goes under the waters of baptism, all her past, would it be washed away? Would she walk forward from this place in newness of life, ready to serve you, live for you, never to be afraid, never to be ashamed again, living for you and honoring her King in Jesus' mighty and glorious name. We baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Jesus into your heart today? Oh, that's wonderful. Come on over here, honey. We're excited for you, and we want to baptize you today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Live for him all the days of your life. Be an example to your friends. Let them know how Jesus is in your heart, and just live for him every day, and you'll never go wrong. In Jesus' name, amen. here and get baptized in front of all these people. What's brought you to this decision? I want to accept Jesus into my heart. No, amen. Yes. We're excited for you. We want to Leo's youth and we thank you for Levi. We thank you for young men in his generation. May they not make many of the same mistakes that we did. 
for those of us who are older in the faith, would we be good parents to them, Lord God? Would we be there to come alongside of them and help them and guide them and direct them towards righteousness? No weapon that's formed against him might it ever prosper, Lord. So we thank you in advance for this young man and all that you want to do and say through him. Would he be a mighty prophet for you? Lord, we baptize him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. wants to welcome God into his life. Give this young man a warm round of applause as well. Feel free to have a seat. Come on over here. Lord, as we prayed for Levi, we pray for Mikey as well. As he's making a confession of his faith in you as his Lord and Savior, we honor that today. We pray that he would not make many of the same mistakes that we did, Lord God, that he would just follow hard after you, that he would be part of that Joshua generation that we so need, that would go out there and live bold for you, oh God, something that's so much needed in our day and age. So we, we speak life over him today as we baptize him in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. This is Rachel, everybody. Is, is Mikey your son? Stepson. So mom and son getting baptized today. I love it. Rachel, do we still have that mic? Do you have anything that you'd like to share? I made some bad choices in the past few years, and now I have a loving family, and I'm ready to make a dedication and be a witness in Jesus Christ. Amen. Feel free to have a seat. If you want to put your legs forward just to be safe, I got you. Lord, we baptize Rachel today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Let's move that one leg. There you go. I got you. I got you. You're good. Praise God. Would you put your hands together one more time for everybody who got baptized today? Thank you for sharing that life moment with them. You know, maybe you didn't get signed up for this baptism. Our next baptism is going to be the weekend of Easter. So we'd love to share that moment with you. Please contemplate the things that you've heard. And if God's working in your heart, let him do the work that he needs to do. Have a great week, everybody. God bless you. We love you. Go out there and live on mission.